Hello, this is Noreen from Joya Cards and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and welcome to my YouTube channel. Yay! For more of my Stampin' Up! card videos, please click that subscribe button and the little bell and you'll be notified when my videos release. Also, I give away the demo card, so if you're a first-time subscriber, put your email in the comments and I'll email you back and let you know if you won the card. Also, make sure you watch the video all the way through because you never know, I might give the card away to anyone or I might do, be doing card kits or swaps or something. So anyway, now let's go make a card. Today's card, we're gonna be making a penguin card, yay! Anyway, we're gonna be using penguin plates, but what's silly is I'm only using it for the sentiments because really the penguins are coming from Penguin Playmates. And that's the DS paper that you get for free in the celebration catalog, which is going on till September 30th, 2021. I don't know when you're watching this video. Anyway, so it's the free one in here. And um, the Penguin Suite is actually from the mini catalog and it's the Penguin Place Bundle. And we're not even gonna be using the punch either. So um, let me show you what else we're using. So I like to use a lot of the stuff I already have to make a card. And this water, this little pond here is from the layering diorama. I do it on the front and inside. And then the sun here is also from the celebration catalog. It's the sheep dye. And it comes with this really cute sun dye. So I'd use that. And all these waves are actually coming from inspiring canopy. Now you would think that I was using the polar bear dye, but I, it was a little too wavy for me. So I'm using this one from inspiring canopy. Now I'm also using the water here. There's little stripes of water. I'm using this stamp from Peaceful Deer and this is in the new mini catalog. And then the fish are from Whale Done. So you can use a lot of your stuff to make other cars and, and they all go together really well. So those are the stamps and the dies I'm using. So if you notice, this card opens like half. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a balmy blue, and this is the five and a half by eight and a half, and we're gonna score it at four. And when we score it at four like this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure two and a quarter from the top down. So from the top down, just grab a pencil and measure two and a quarter right at the fold here, just so you know where to put the die. And then we're gonna take that inspiring canopy die that has the wave on it. It looks like this. And grab some tape. I'm using my delicate painter's tape that I love, the frog tape, get it anywhere. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna use one of the sides and I'm always gonna make sure that I'm using that one side so I know which one I'm doing all the time. I'm just gonna put a little mark there. And then I'm gonna go to my uh, die cutter and I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna tape this to the front just like that and run it through. So it's like a partial cut. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. And when you do that partial cut, then we're gonna lift this up gently and actually you don't have to worry about it too much because we're gonna be covering everything up here. So you're gonna notice it's gonna look like that. Now I'm gonna take my paper trimmer and I'm going to cut off that part. So I'm gonna put it right, and this is the Stampin' Up! trimmer and it's got a score and a cutter on the same piece here. So it's really super nice. So you can put that fold that we made before, that score, put it right there in the middle and then move your blade up. And I'm gonna take it almost all the way down. Now usually um, you can just line up the notch here, but this, since this is a wavy die, I'm just gonna like take it down and then lift this up and see how close I am. And I'm pretty close here. So I'm gonna do just a little bit more. And I mean, just a scooch more and just a scooch more. <laughs> and it should pop right off like that. Now you're gonna grab a piece of shimmery white paper, just five and a half by four and a quarter. And then the wavy die from Inspiring Canopy. And you're probably wondering why I'm not using the polar bear one, because there is a, a slope with the polar bear dies that's in the new mini catalog, but I thought it was too wavy, so I'm using this one instead. And then mark one end of the die, so you know which uh, end you started on on the card front. That's really important. And I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it to the end on this piece 
of shimmery white and I'm gonna die cut it like this. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. So this is the piece you've cut off. Now I want you to save that, but look at how much it matches up right here. So that's really great. So I want you to turn it over, don't use this end, turn it over and start making a whole bunch of wave cuts. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. So I've cut these all down. Now every time I cut it, I turn the die. So they've got the waves going different directions. So now you wanna go ahead and line it all up. So I'm gonna take my silicone craft sheet here and gotta make sure that you do the top one first. So make sure it's going the right direction and then nail this down and just line this up like so. And then you're gonna take another one and don't worry about it going off because we can always cut it. Now I've got a little bit that's showing here. So I'm just gonna take this one and I'm gonna fix that. And here's a second layer and I'm just gonna put it to the end of the card and over. And then I'm gonna grab another piece and you get the idea. So I'm gonna lay these all down and I'm gonna make sure that this is on the bottom so it's cut. This was that first piece we cut from the other side. In fact, I can go ahead and put it on now and just put it on the bottom like so. And then I'm gonna go ahead and layer up the rest. Now that we've got it all layered up, I'm gonna open this up and I'm going to go ahead and cut off the excess just with my scissors, just like that. For the inside, and I like having my cards finished. You know, I don't like having blanks. So I'm gonna do this side and then this side. So this die, we put that little mark to show that this was the side we used over here. Now we're gonna turn that over and we're gonna find where we're gonna put it again. So this is now the side and we're gonna put it at the top of our piece here and tape it on and die cut it. So we cut that off and that lines up perfectly. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut some more. So I'm gonna cut and then cut and then cut and cut and cut the whole thing down. Now we've got all those pieces cut up, find the one that you had for the top and go ahead and start snailing this down. So we're gonna do this and I'm really just matching these up a little bit. Now leave yourself a little bit of room on the end. We really should have cut this five and a half by four and three sixteenths, but that's okay because we do want to give a little room for the card to close, okay? So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do another layer right here and I'm gonna match them up on the right where that card closes. And I'm gonna do, see how this one looks? I'm gonna turn it around because it's almost too much the same and do this one here, lining it up on my right and hanging it over on the left. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on because it's the bottom piece because it's got the bottom edge here and lining it up on my right so the card can close and all the way on the bottom. And then I'm gonna use one more piece and I'm gonna put it right there line it up on my right okay and then we're going to turn it over again and cut off anything that's hanging over just like that now grab a third piece of shimmery white five and a half by four and three eighths just to give that um, that clearance for the bend here. And this one really should have been four and three eighths, but we just cut off the side, which was fine. So now I'm gonna close this card and I'm gonna take that die we've been using and figure out which side we used for the front, which is the one that I marked on the end here. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this one here, I'm gonna line it up right to the edge and I'm, that's gonna be the first cut. And then after you do the first cut, do some more cuts on the bottom. Turn it over, do the other side. Don't cut this, don't cut below that first initial cut. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll be right back. Now that you've made all your little cuts, find that first one and it should be the one that matches on the front like this. So we're gonna open the card, turn this, this is the back, this is the front and line it up with the left side of the piece and snail it 
take this and close it. Try not to move that piece. And that should match up like that. Now we're gonna just take our other pieces and just kind of layer them up again. So I'm gonna do that just like this. I'm gonna line it up to my left side and go across. I'll be right back. Now make sure that piece that has the blunt end on it is put on the bottom. So do that before you fill everything else in. So I've got that one and then I'm just gonna put on this other layer. Now we're gonna do this sky. Now I could have just put the paper underneath and matched it up, but I didn't wanna do that. I wanted to make it <laughs> match this. So I'm like inlaying it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the end that uh, matches up to this and I'm gonna put it on the bottom. Now, this is from Beauty of the Earth. It looks like that on the back. And it's this great sky and I've been choosing it like crazy. So I'm gonna figure out which, you know, make sure that the clouds are going horizontal and not like vertical like that. So I want it to go this way. And I'm gonna put this, this is a side, and I'm gonna line this up to the edge and I'm gonna tape it down and run it through the die cutter. I've cut that and it matches. So now I'm gonna go ahead and snail it. I'm not gonna worry about the top because we're just gonna cut that off. So I'm gonna inlay the sky just like that. And I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna cut this off. And this was a four and a quarter by four, by the way, if I didn't mention that. And all the measurements will be in the body of my video. So uh, you don't have to frantically write everything now. Now, just go to my video and look it up and everything's there. And I also, by the way, give away the demo card. If you're a first time subscriber or you're a subscriber and you've never won a card, put uh, in my comments, I wanna win the card and you have to put your email. I can't talk to you without the email. So put your email in there and I'll email you back and let you know if you just want a card. So that's how we do this part. Now we're gonna go to the DS paper and the DS paper is the one that's free in the celebration catalog. So when you spend $50 in either one of the catalogs, you get to pick something out of here for free. Now anything $50 and under is free and then there's two in the back if you place a $100 order uh, then you get those free, this one and the die, and they're separate. So um, also all my um, supplies are listed in my video too, and they also have little links. So if you click on them, you can place an order right there. As long as you spend $50 before tax and shipping and all that, then you can pick out something for free. And this is one of them. So now we're gonna look through this paper and I actually cut those two little dudes here. So I cut this guy here that was on the purple paper and I cut this guy here that's on like this uh, green paper. So how I did it though, is I used my brother scan and cut and I originally was gonna do the, uh, a prequel to this video and show you how to use my brother scan and cut but the problem with this paper is that there's so much white that the scanner can't pick it up. I was able to get it to do the penguins by connecting everything, but I was not able to do like the polar bear, this big polar bear here, he's too white. And also the fox, it kept cutting off the face and the tail and the belly and all that. So um, I'll show you on some different DS paper on how to use Brother Scan and Cut. But I took my little penguins and instead of fussy cutting it, I use my scan and cut. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. If you have one, great. Um, if you do have a brother scan and cut, when you're doing the penguins, see this white or this gray right here? Take a mechanical pencil and fill that in. Just draw the line and connect it to the feet here. And then it'll do a full circle cut. Where the brother scan and cut doesn't work is when it can't see the lines and it's just too light here to see it. So I drew in my line and now I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. And now they look like that. Now I don't like anything with like this white edge on it. And because it's, you know, got a white core, I'm gonna take my black Stempen Blend and very, very, very carefully and slowly and don't push down too hard because this paper cut does kind of drink up that black ink. I am going to edge this. So right here on the edge, 
go slowly so you don't uh, have to recut your piece and I'm gonna edge that whole thing so I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back so I just edged those guys and they look a whole lot better so I've got those now I'm gonna grab my layering diorama and I'm gonna grab the smallest die and the third smallest die and cut these two pieces here and these will be our little ponds so I wanted to put water in my pond. So I grabbed Peaceful Deer, which is in the mini catalog. I, like I said, go to the body of my video. You can click on these, you can place an order. You can get stuff for free, like the penguin paper is pretty awesome. So I'm gonna grab this little die right here. It's got, it's like a little mm, snow thing, but it kind of looks like water. And I'm gonna grab my Balmy Blue and I'm gonna tap on it. Now my Balmy Blue is rather dry, so I'm going to tap on it here. I'm going to stamp off and then I'm going to start doing some lines kind of scattered, but I'm always going to stamp off so they're not so obvious and I'll just scatter them a little bit. I'm going to do the big one here and I'll go over here, like even turn them around. and just put them on the pond. Whoopsie, I didn't stamp off on that one. Just like that. Now I wanna put my little fishies in there and that's from Whale Done, they're right here. And I'm just gonna use Memento and I'm gonna get it nice and black and I'm gonna just put those little fishy right there. And now I also wanna do the sentiment which is inside of it to the coolest friend ever. And I'm also going to use Memento and I'm going to stamp that right in the middle like so. And you can write the sentiment wherever you want. So you, you can put it in there. Now I'm gonna stamp the balloon, which is in Penguin Place here. And we're using Daffodil Delight and still that shimmery white paper. And I'm gonna ink that up really good and just stamp her right like so and then i'm going to grab happy birthday also from penguin place and get that nice and inked up and i'm going to use memento with that and i'm stamping that happy birthday right in the middle of that balloon and now all you have to do is go ahead and either fussy cut that or i put it in my brother stamp and cut as well and this is how my brother Scan and Cut did do that cut. And I will do a tutorial on that real soon. I know that one of my subscribers asked, I think her name is Kitty. Hi Kitty. Anyway, so that's how it did. Now we need to cut out that sun. The sun is from the sheep dye, which is in the celebration catalog. So if you order something from any of the other catalogs, you can get that sheep dye here for free if you order like $50. So you can go to the body of my video, click on a link, place an order, and you can pick out something for free. So I went ahead and die cut this sun dye in Daffodil Delight, just like so. And now let's go ahead and put it together the card. Now, before we actually put this together, there's one more step that I forgot to mention almost. And that is I'm going to put a little bit of blue on this white. So I'm gonna grab the balmy blue again and a blending brush and you hold them like this. And I'm gonna dip into this. Now my balmy blue is nice and dry. I kind of like my stamps dry because I'd rather under ink than over ink. And I'm just going to stamp off. So do that stamp off on some scratch paper and give it a little bit of blue hue here on the inside and the front. So I'm gonna turn this over because I'm right-handed and just give it just a little something something here just to make it look like it's cold, you know? And then stamp off and swirl in like that. It's just, just a tiny bit so it looks like that. Now we can snail the sentiment on the inside because this is the easiest one. And then on the front, go ahead and take your little pond, and it's stuck to my glass here. Take your little pond, put them on dimensionals, and I'm gonna put that like so. And then I'm gonna grab the green penguin and put him on dimensionals. And I'm gonna put him over here. Now I'm gonna take the sun first and I'm just gonna snail the sun 
and I'm going to put it all the way in the upper left hand corner like that. Then I'm going to take the balloon. Now there is a little stamp here, so I want to be able to get the stamp in between the balloon and the penguin. So I'm going to put it at kind of an angle really close to that sun like that. And then I'm going to take my penguin and I'm just going to put a little tiny bit of snail because we're not going to keep them on there permanent because I'm going to pull them up and put them on dimensionals just to see where uh, that string is going to be. And the string is also from the penguin and it's this one right here. And it looks like this. Now I'm going to take a piece of washi tape just because it's thin. I usually use like a post-it note when I'm trying to block something off, but this is a lot thinner, a lot easier to work with. And I'm going to take and I'm going to block off the straight part of that string like that. Then I'm going to get the memento and my stampin' pad. If you noticed, I had a stampin' pad throughout the whole card is because these are the clear stamps and you want something cushy for these to go on. So, and I usually stamp my ink on it as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just ink up the swirly part of that stamp and I'm going to take this off and maybe rub off that little tiny piece here. And then I want to kind of guesstimate where this is going to be. I might even pull up the balloon a little bit because I want to make it like right there. Okay, and that's okay if I miss because I can adjust these. So I'm going to put the balloon here. So I got the balloon down and then I'm going to take my penguin and I'm going to put him up on dimensionals and I'm going to make it so his arm his feet are on the ground, but his arm is touching that string, just like that. So when you open it up, it looks like this. And that's the card. Don't forget, I give away the demo card. If you're a first time subscriber or you already are one and you've never got a card, put a comment in my video there and say, I want to win the card and put your email so I can contact you. And if you're the first one of the two, because I give away both cards, then I'll mail you the card. So that'll do it for me. Thanks. Bye.